had one since I started, really. Yeah, probably she's bilingual already. She um, pretty much talks Māori, understands it. Same with English as well. Yo, Trapmeister, thank you for subbing, brother. I appreciate it, bro. You didn't have to, though. How you like modding, bro? Uh, yeah, it's all good. There's not much... Uh, Clowns, they're going to the brother stream, which is good too. Going well, man. If I get this finished tonight, it's a three day weekend for me, so probably have a late night for me. Oh, <laughs> nice, brother. You got this one, bro. Yeah, I try not to um, message you uh, too much because I know you got important work. Well, I see you smashed out too. Oh, did we get another host? Host game. What kind of music is this? Ah, uh, it's just songs in the Māori language, bro. Awaking Worm, thank you very much, bro. You didn't have to. Kanye 2020. Ugh. He's a dropkick, that's what he is. Never liked him, eh? He's a bit of an egg. Hello everyone. You're a role model, bro. Love you. Oh, much love to you too. Hey, is that Clifford, the big red dog? Oh, it's just a dog. No politics, please. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind just saying that he's a meme. That's about as political as I'll go. But I admit, though, Gold Digger was a mean song. Yeah. <laughs> he had mean songs, and then. Uh, he just changed and started being out of it. <laughs> Who am I to do? Hey, true. Oh, Dodo Diggins. True, brother. I remember that name. <laughs> Wasn't it Moda that laughed at your name too? Because of how catchy it was? Yo, where are you from? I'm from Otago. Roman Empire. I am from Rotorua, brother. Help you in the North Island. I want to see New Zealand someday. Yeah, probably maybe when the world goes back to normal, brother, you could. I would say the most scenic out of both the islands would have to be the south. Even though I haven't been there. As much as you like, bro. Always time for you. Oh, thank you, Mahalo. Where can I donate? Uh, you use your eyes and you watch. <laughs> Skateboard, thank you for subbing. You didn't have to. Tell us a Māori legend. Okay. Pretty sure we all know about Maui, eh? How we slowed the sun down. I'll tell it anyway. So, Maui is not a Maori ancestor. He's actually a Polynesian ancestor. What happened? Oh, hello. Hello, Helen. So, as we all know, uh, Maui was a demigod. But, um, he did, he was kind of like the Hercules for our people as well. Did many things for us. Uh, he was a navigator as well. So you know, he fished up the North Island and various other islands throughout the Pacific um, with his brothers. The Ultra Terra and Hades. Thank you guys for subbing. You didn't have to. The Oceania is fake news film. I have no idea what that is, but I will say okay and give you a thumbs up. How do you feel about the Disney portrayal? Oh, he looks cool. Looks like a powerlifter, a strong man. He's got the, the bouncing pics. 
Um, so yeah, Maui was a demigod for all of Polynesia. He done many things for our people and the people of Te Moana Nui Akiwa, the Pacific. Uh, one in particular for Māori, obviously he fished up the North Island with his uh, fish hook, which wasn't like the one in the movie, but um, yep. And another story about him is obviously he's sisletoed down the sun. <coughs> These are getting a dry through. Need a water. I need either your peace or your steam. I will DM it to you, my brother. But in my ling, I thought, oh, no, oh, it's all good. I didn't know what you're on about, brother. Did you say Rotorua? Yep. I think I've been there. My wife's sister lives not far. Greetings from the UK. Would love to contribute to the stream. If it's yours. Yeah, so we finished with Starship last week. Hey, true, Kiho. So, yeah, he slowed down the sun, but what he needed was. So how it all started, as you all know, we were living our lives and the days were finishing faster than usual. And so Maui, so we couldn't get anything done, couldn't like do gardens and whatnot, everyday things in days of old. And um, I'm going to go to bed now, good night. Hey Beetlejuice, <laughs> Beetlejuice, <laughs> have a good one brother, thank you for dropping in. Um, yeah, so as we all know. You can't really do much in your day if the um, sun gets slowed down or get, goes by fast. Speak Spanish. Ah, uh, nah, bro. Kukuranga. Uh, I'm doing good, bro. Thank you. Uh, bad Boopy and Deliapo. Dilapo. Thank you, guys. You didn't have to. Yeah, so as you all know, um, you can't get much done throughout the day if the sun is going fast. So everyone was annoyed by it. And um, Maui came up with a plan to figure out how we can slow it down. So he went to see his grandmother. And um, she offered her jawbone to, to him. Which he fashioned into a weapon. Be it a wahaika, a shorthand club or another weapon. And um, he asked his older brothers if they could help him slow the sun down. So they followed to where the sun would set, which was obviously in the west, <laughs> as you would say. And um, they waited for the sun to rise again, like to wake up. And um, I think they missed that part of the movie. Yeah, they did, bro. So they waited for the sun to rise again, so they fashioned nets out of muka, which was flax fibre. So flax is a, um, is a quite a useful um, plant we have here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, that was used by our ancestors to fashion like rope, uh, baskets, mats, all types of things. So it has a fibre that sits on the top of it. So they fashioned ropes and um, they set it over where the sun was rising and they caught him and so from there um, obviously they fought the sun and Maui pulled out his, his jaw, mother, grandmother's jawbone and, um, and struck the sun they kept striking it until it agreed to slow down so um, they could enjoy their day and um, obviously he did it because the sun slowed down <laughs> but um, from what I've been told, like if there are any Japanese people in here, the emperor noticed a red flare in the distance towards our country uh, one day ago, I would say. This was told by my grandparents, oh, by our elders. Oh, Bash Fisher, 